what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be working on the ford again and we have got a brand new oem steering wheel for it so right here underneath all that plastic we can see it in all its glory brand new from the dealer and this here is going to replace our beat up old one which you'll see why i got that cover on there in a second Let's walk over and I'll show you actually. I gotta look and see how these even come apart. I've never done one on the 11 to 16 style. So right here, right off the rip, you could see these weird lines here. And actually under here is the bulk of the damage. Let's see how hard this is gonna be to rip off. All right, so when I first bought the truck, it had a a black steering wheel cover on here that was really falling apart bad so i went and took it off thinking you know that looks like shit and then i figured out why they put that on there because the steering wheel's all messed up Let's see if i could try to not destroy it kind of carefully prying here looks like yeah it comes right back off all right so right here is the real damage you can see like the buttons are just wore off. That's normal. Having your thumb right here, that's whatever. But the part I hate is I don't really like having a steering wheel cover on there. That one was better than the busted black one. That was the original. Still not as good as just an actual nice steering wheel though. Cause that's like the worst part. The only really flaws left on this truck ever since I painted the tailgate, we had a uh, the bad body mouse that I went ahead and did, the front suspension that's been rebuilt. This is next on my list. If I could find one that actually has this King Ranch logo here, because I could find a bunch of replacement center console lids, but they're all just completely smooth. Like I want to have all the stitching and make it actually factory because that's the next biggest damage. That's the only things really wrong with this other than like little minor shit like that, which if I start nitpicking, stuff that minor i'll be here all day so anyway let's see if i could show you guys how i'm gonna pull this clapped out steering wheel off so from the looks here i've got some 5.5 millimeters in here that i'm about to pop loose real quick get them out looks like there's just three of them then i should be able to pull all this plastic from back here out and then i'll see what i got to do next So from my research, we gotta just pop this thing right out. Looks like that comes out no problem. And then I should be able to pop this shit right off. Try not to destroy anything. There we go. Looks like it just give it a little bit of a shake while you pull it out. Screw it, it can stay right there. All right, so I had to look this up real quick. Looks like we got some tabs I gotta mess with back here with the wheel on this angle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this off camera because there's no good way to get in there. And yeah, hopefully it doesn't cause me any problems. I'm not unhooking the batteries over this. From what I know, at least most of the cars I've worked on in the collision shop, as long as it's not moving or running, there's usually things that'll make the airbag not just blow up in your face, but I'm still gonna be cautious. So I'll bring you guys back once this thing's hopefully out. My apologies, I was on the phone taking the rest of this apart, so I didn't get any videos. Pretty much once them clips came out, there was just a couple electric plugs and a uh let's see what size we got here a t50 in the middle and now i'm going to put the new one on in the same orientation and do a reverse install and i'll bring you guys back also i did end up disconnecting the batteries not because i was worried about the airbag but because when i was messing with them clips on the back side i kept accidentally hitting this little plate here making the horn go off so i had to disconnect the negatives real quick and i'll hook them back up when i'm done 
All right, just like that, we got the old one off and the new one in. Just reverse of taking it apart to put it back together. Even figuring this out, other than watching a YouTube video for a second to see how those clips come out, it was pretty simple. I did this job in right around 20 minutes or so. And all you really need is the five and a half, an extension with a ratchet to get this off here. Uh, T50 with a small extension and a ratchet and then uh, a little screwdriver to get in there with a very little bit of patience it's no big deal to get this replaced and here as you can see it looks nice and new I have a feeling maybe it is a little bit of a different color than the ones they put in here back in the day like when you look at that it doesn't look the same as the other one but that might just be because the other one's so beat up but I mean this thing is in beautiful shape all the buttons and stuff obviously are brand new they've never been used other than i did start it a second ago and make sure everything works and it did so that concludes this install a nice easy one and made my interior look a million times better so with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video